Hello everyone. In this video we are going to talk about basic greetings for when you meet someone you don't know. Okay, someone you don't know is called a stranger. So when you meet the stranger, what do you say? Okay, so these are basic greetings. So on the board here I have the first basic greeting. Hi. Okay, this is a very casual greeting you, when you meet someone for the first time. Hi. Very simple. The second one, hello, oh, something wrong with the spelling here. Be careful with the spelling of hello. Many of my students put the W. There is never a W. It is only hello, okay? Be careful with that. So, of course, these are the most common greetings. Hi, hello. And here are three more greetings. Good morning, good afternoon and good evening all right so these are the most basic greetings when you meet the stranger and when you say hi they will probably say the same thing hi if you say hello they will say the same thing hello if you say good morning they will say the same thing good morning good afternoon good evening so if they say good evening to you you should answer good evening if they say good morning to you, you should answer good morning. All right. That's how we uh, do our basic greetings with a stranger. All right. Let's move on to some more greetings. Okay. So we're going to look at two more greetings. The next one is how are you? And this one, how are you doing? Okay. Both are very common. You must know them. How are you? How are you doing? How are you? How are you doing? So if someone asks you these questions and you would answer starting with I'm. Okay, I am. I'm. I'm fine. Okay, so I'm fine is the best answer. It's the most common answer. So you should always try to say I'm fine. How are you? I'm fine. There are other answers. How are you? I'm great. I'm good, I'm not bad, I'm so-so, okay? But be careful with so-so. Many of my students uh, say so-so too much, okay? So the best answer is I'm fine and sometimes use these, okay? Maybe you are not fine, so you want to express uh, something bad. So how are you? I'm bad. Or, how are you? I'm not good. How are you doing? I'm not good. All right. So, someone asks the question, you answer, and the polite thing to do is ask them the same question. So, how are you? I'm fine. And then we should use one of these. Okay. How are you? I'm fine. And you? Okay. You're asking them. How are you? I'm fine. How about you? Okay, these mean the same thing, so you could use this one or this one. All right, let's take a look at a few examples, uh, example dialogues, so we can understand this better. All right, let's look at example dialogue one. Good morning. Good morning. Let's look at example dialogue two. How are you? I'm good, and you? I'm fine. Let's look at example dialogue three. How are you doing? Not bad. What about you? I'm pretty good. Let's look at example dialogue four. Good afternoon. How are you? Very well, thank you. And you? I'm fine. Okay, I hope you have a good understanding of how to use basic greetings to someone you don't know. It's easy, all right? Before we go, I want to talk about this expression. How are you? I'm fine, thank you, and you. Of course, every Korean knows this expression. This is what you were taught in school. But, of course, this is too common and too nice, too polite. So it's a little bit funny, okay? 
So how are you? I'm fine, thank you, and you. Uh, try not to use this, okay? Let's make it easier. Uh, as I said, it's too nice. So let's cut the thank you, okay? So this sounds better already. This is much better. How are you? I'm fine. And you? Okay, that's better than I'm fine, thank you, and you. All right? So that's basic greetings. Uh, again, I hope you understand, and I'll see you next video. Hello everyone, in this video we're going to talk about basic greetings you would use with people you know, with your friends, okay? Now let's take a look, I have three here. Now we would use these in very casual situations, okay? We don't want to use these in business meetings or meeting some stranger who is very important. We want to use this with uh, people we know very friendly people. All right, so the first one is what's up, okay? So what's up, you, what's up? Okay, don't look up. What's up, common greeting, what's up? And what's new, very similar. So if someone asks you what's up, that's they're kind of asking you, what are you doing now, okay? So it could be, hey, what's up? And you would answer, Oh, I'm going out for dinner. Okay, so what's up? What are you doing? Hey, what's up? Uh, I'm about to go to a party. Okay. With what's new, what's new, uh, maybe they haven't seen you for like a week. Okay, you haven't met your friend for one week. You meet your friend and your friend says, Hey, what's new? Okay, what's new? What's new in your life? Okay, what happened in one week? So someone asks you, what's new? And you would answer, well, I made a new girlfriend. Or I went to a concert last Friday. Okay, so what's new with you? Uh, I, I took a trip to Busan over the weekend. Okay, so someone asks, what's new? Kind of what happened in your life? since they last saw you all right and the last one very friendly expression here how's it going how's it going what is it how's it going well it is your life how's your life going or similar to how are you so how's your life going are you doing well uh, you would answer you know if someone asks how's it going you would answer it's going great it's going well. It's going fine. Okay. How's it going? It's going wonderful. All right. So these are the first three. Let's take a look at another three. All right. So here are three more uh, expressions you can use when you're meeting your friend. Uh, the first one, very nice, very polite, very friendly. You say, good to see you. Okay. Good to see you. Or Good to see you again. Okay, so you haven't seen your friend. You see your friend. Hi, good to see you. Okay, that's very friendly. Let's look at the next one. You meet your friend and your friend asks you, How are things? How are things? Okay, what, what things? How are things? Now, things, uh, those are things in your life. So, what's happening in your life? How's your life? Okay, how are things? So, the how are things, you would answer, things are great. Things are good. Things are fine. Okay, how are things? Things are wonderful or things are bad. Okay, so you can express that with things. How are things? Things are so-so. And the last one here, how's life? Hey, how's life? Uh, how's life? Again, very friendly, asking about your life. Is your life good or is your life bad? How's life? You could say, life is good. Life is great or life is terrible. Okay, not good. Okay, it depends on your feeling. So these are three more to use with your friend. Again, uh, not in a business situation only with uh, friendly people you know. 
All right, so let's take a look at some examples to understand these better. All right, so the first example, how's it going? I'm good. How are you? I'm fine. The next example, hey, what's up? Nothing much. How's it going? Fine. And the next example, how are things with you? Things are great. And you? I'm pretty good. The next example. How's it going? I'm okay. How about you? I'm pretty good these days. And the last example. How's life? Life's pretty good. How about you? Me too. Things are great. How are you? Did you understand my example dialogues? I hope so. These are good expressions to use speaking in English to your friend. All right, you should know them and you should practice them. Anyway, that's it for this video. See you next time. Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to talk about the basic ways to say goodbye. All right. Now on the board are the three most common ways to say goodbye. You probably already know them. The first one, goodbye. Uh, usually we write this with a hyphen, okay, goodbye. Now a lot of my students are scared to say goodbye because they think uh, goodbye is goodbye forever, okay. I'll never meet you again uh, or I'm, I'll meet you in a very, very long time. That's not true, okay. Goodbye is very common and you can meet your friend at the end of the evening, say goodbye and that doesn't mean goodbye forever, okay? So don't be scared to say goodbye. The next one, of course, we shorten it, make it short to bye, just bye. Very simple, very easy, very common, bye. All right, and of course, in Korea, they like to say Bye bye. Okay. A lot of my students always say bye bye, bye bye, bye bye. They say it too much. All right. You should say bye bye sometimes, not every time. Okay. So try to say bye and goodbye. All right. So these are these three are the most common. Let's move on to see you. Okay. Let's look at the see you expressions. Now see you is a very useful and excellent way to say goodbye. Now, of course, you can just say a uh, very simple, see you, okay, that means bye. You could also say, see you soon, okay, see you soon, we're going to meet soon, maybe later today or tomorrow, anyway, the time is short, soon, okay, see you soon. See you later. See you later. Okay, now this one is special. See you later. And many people are confused because see you later. What is later? Now, later today, uh, tomorrow, when is later? See you later. All right, well, sometimes people say see you later. That means later today. Sometimes they say see you later. That doesn't mean later today. It means just goodbye, just bye, okay? So this one could be confusing. So when someone says, see you later, probably you're not going to meet later, okay? It's probably just bye. All right, the last one here, see you, you could put any time here. See you tonight, see you tomorrow, see you on the weekend, see you on Friday, see you next week. Okay, very useful to tell the person goodbye and when you will see them next. All right, let's move on to a few more examples of how to say goodbye. Okay, let's look at three more here. This one, cheers. Okay, a lot of students are confused because cheers has two meanings. The first meaning, of course, when you're drinking beer and you want to celebrate with your friends, you hit the glasses, you say cheers, okay? 
but this meaning is different than that cheers. This meaning is just bye, okay? So cheers, that just means bye. Especially in emails, people write their email at the bottom, cheers, okay? Bye. The next one, take care. Take care is a very sweet and friendly way to say goodbye. You just say, take care, okay? Very nice way to say goodbye. I like it. Take care. And the last one, good night, okay? Good night. You can only use that at night. Don't use it in the day, only at night and usually late night, okay? So maybe you're at work very late, 10 p.m., everyone is going home, good night, okay? Again, just means bye. All right, so these are a few more expressions. Of course, there's many, many more expressions. This is just a few. Anyway, let's take a look at a few example dialogues to help you understand how to use these. All right, the first example dialogue, goodbye. Okay, see you next time. Example dialogue two, take care, Jack. Okay, you too, Jill. Bye. Example dialogue three. See you later. Cheers. And example dialogue four. Have a good night. Okay, good night. I hope you understand the examples. Before we go, I want to talk about these words. Now, these words are not English, okay? These are other languages, but all these words mean the same thing. Goodbye, okay? So in English, sometimes we borrow words from other languages and we use them to say goodbye, all right? Now, I'm going to say these words, but I'm going to say them with English pronunciation, okay? So it's probably not the right pronunciation, but it's how we say it in English. The first word is Italian, and we're gonna, we're gonna pronounce that as ciao, okay? So, ciao. So sometimes we say ciao, and that just means bye. The next one, Japanese. So with English pronunciation, we say sayonara, okay? Again, bye. This is Spanish, adios, adios. Adios. Again, bye. And the last one is French. Au revoir. Au revoir just means bye. Okay, so again, sometimes we say these in English to our friends. All right, so that's how we say goodbye in English. I hope you understand. That's, that's it. There's nothing left to say except goodbye. Hello everyone, in this video we are going to talk about expressions you use when you haven't seen someone for a long time, okay? So imagine you're walking on the street and then you see your friend and you haven't seen your friend for a long time. Maybe you haven't seen your friend for a month or six months or a year, or five years, or you haven't seen them for 10 years, okay? You haven't seen them for a long time. So what should you say? Well, first you should say hi or hello, but then you should use one of these expressions, okay? So the first one, it's been a long time. It's been a long time. So you could say, hey, Susan, how are you doing? It's been a long time, okay? So you want to express that you haven't seen them for a long time. It's been a long time. The next one, it's been too long. Hey, Jack, how's it going? It's been too long, okay? We haven't seen each other for a long time. So it's been too long. If you see, I have the blue line. We can change this to other time, time expressions. So you could say, it's been too long. You could say, it's been uh, one year. It's been one year. It's been 10 years. It's been ages. 
Hey, Stan, how are you doing? It's been ages since we last saw each other. So ages, a long time, okay? And the last one here, of course, this is the most common one and the easiest one to use. Long time, no see. So, hey, Jack, how are you? Long time, no see, all right? So again, all of these mean I haven't seen you in a long time. Good to use when you meet your friend you haven't seen in a long time. All right, let's move on to a few more expressions. Okay, here are two questions to use when you haven't seen someone for a long time. The first one, how long has it been? Okay, so you haven't met your friend for a long time. So you say, hey Dave, how are you doing? Haven't seen you in a long time. And he says, how long has it been? Okay, so you have to think. How long have we not seen each other? So you could say, it's been two months. Okay, so we haven't seen each other for two months. So how long has it been since we last met? Okay, it's been, and you have to think, hmm, about one year. Okay, the next question. What have you been up to? What have you been up to? Now the up to is same as what have you been doing? Okay, since we last met, what have you been doing? Okay, so maybe you didn't meet your friend for one year. Okay, so you want to ask, you know, how long has it been? It's been one year. What have you been up to? What have you been doing for one year? Okay, well, I've been uh, traveling, I've been working hard, I've been studying English. Okay, so you want to tell what have you been doing for that time, all right? So these are two useful questions to use when you haven't met your friend for a long time. Let's take a look at some example dialogues. Okay, example dialogue one. Hi Susan, it's been a long time. Hi Dave. Yes, it's been over two years. Example two. Hello, Mr. Smith. How long has it been? About six months. I'm happy to see you again. Yes, me too. Example dialogue three. Jessica, long time no see. Hi, Jeff. What have you been up to? Well, I got married and moved to France. Wow, good for you. I'm so happy to see you again. Example four. Hey, Paul, it's been ages since we last met. Yes, wow, maybe 10 years. It's been too long. I missed you. Okay, I hope those dialogues helped you. I know these expressions are a little bit difficult. They're a little bit big. They're a little bit complicated but these are excellent expressions to use when you haven't seen someone for a long time, okay? When you haven't seen your friend for a long time and also in the business situation, you haven't seen someone for a long time, all right? You should use these. Well, I hope you can uh, learn them and know them. Maybe it takes a little, little bit more self-study. Anyway, you can do it. I'll see you next time. Hello everyone, in this video we are going to talk about your first meeting with a stranger. Okay, a stranger is someone you don't know. So here's a picture of two people. They are strangers. They don't know each other. Okay, so this is their first meeting and we have five things we should do in the first meeting. Do or say. Uh, the first thing, what's the first thing we should say at the first meeting? Okay, you meet someone, what's the first thing you say? Well, it should of course be hi or hello. Hi or hello. And what's the second thing you should say? Nice to meet you? No, okay, don't use nice to meet you second. Before nice to meet you, you should always ask about their name, okay? You should ask them their name first. So, hi, my name is Robin. 
what's your name all right so after the name now you can say nice to meet you nice to meet you all right so it's very important to have nice to meet you after the name okay meeting someone means you know them okay you know their name so if you put nice to meet you before the name it's very strange and many Koreans do this they say hi nice to meet you we didn't meet yet okay so you have to give the name hi I'm Robin nice to meet you all right what's the next thing so this is the greeting okay hi name nice to meet you and the next thing this is going to be questions so you're going to start asking questions to get to know them for example uh, where do you live where are you from what do you do okay you have to start asking questions to know them better and then once you talk a little while the last step of course is bye goodbye see you later all right so you should follow these steps when you meet someone a stranger for the first time hello ask them their name nice to meet you ask some questions and then bye okay that's the process of meeting a stranger for the first time all right let's take a look at an example dialogue okay let's look at this dialogue two people are talking for the first time hi hello my name's Robin what's your name my name's Jack oh nice to meet you nice to meet you too what do you do I'm a student and you I'm a teacher well I have to go see you again yes bye okay I hope you understand uh, what to say when you meet someone for the first time all right you should follow those five steps say hello ask about the name then nice to meet you remember don't say nice to meet you so fast like many of my students it sounds very strange so after nice to meet you then you can start asking some questions and of course the ending is always bye all right, that's it for this video. Bye. Hello, in this video, we are going to talk about four essential questions you should know when you first meet someone, okay? Now, I call them essential questions because essential means very important, you must know, okay? Now, probably you already know uh, most of them, but let's just review them anyways. Let's take a look at the first one. Uh, you think it's very easy, but maybe you're using it wrong. The first question, what is your name? What is your name? Now, probably when you were young, your English teacher taught you what is your name, and that's fine, but you're not a child anymore. You are a an adult okay you've grown up so you shouldn't say what is your name anymore okay this sounds childish what is your name okay an adult we are going to use a contraction what's okay what is we're going to change it to what's what's your name all right this is more common what's your name it's faster what's your name what's your name okay I wrote my name here my name is Robin again this is a little bit childish what's your name my name is Robin my name is again we don't want to use this style anymore let's make a contraction make it faster what's your name my name's Robin my name's my name's Robin what's your name my name's Robin all right this is adult style also for what's your name you could just say I'm Robin this is okay too so my name's Robin I'm Robin doesn't matter both are okay let's move on to the next question okay the next question very common very easy where are you from where are you from okay so say it very fast where are you from 
Where are you from? Where are you from? I from Korea. Oh, this is terrible. So many of my students say I from Korea. Don't, don't say I from Korea. Let's put a line from that. That is bad grammar. I from Korea. No, the correct is I'm. I'm from Korea. I have to hear this M sound. I'm from Korea. All right. Where are you from? Where are you from? I'm from Korea. Well, I'm not from Korea. I'm from Canada. Okay. So make sure you can say this question very fast. Where are you from? And make sure you use I'm. I'm from Korea. Let's go to the next question. Where do you live? That's our next question. Where do you live? Don't say, where are you live? Okay, that is wrong. The question is, where do you live? Where do you live? Where do you live? Where do you live? Okay, so where do you live? Live is asking, where's your house, your home? Where do you live? So your answer should have your city or area. So where do you live? First tense here, I live Seoul. I live Seoul. This is wrong. Okay, bad grammar. Where do you live? I live Seoul. No. Where do you live? I live in. In Seoul. You need the preposition in. Always. You always need in Seoul. Where do you live? I live in Seoul. Okay. Uh, the last one here is a short way. Where do you live? Okay. You don't have to say I live. You could just start with in, the preposition in. So where do you live? In Seoul. Okay. So again, where do you live? I live in Seoul. In Seoul. Never say this. All right. Let's move on to the last question. What do you do? What do you do? Okay, this is asking about job. What do you do every day for work? Okay, what do you do? Now, English speakers don't say what do you do. We say it very fast. We say what do you do? What do you do? What do you do? Okay, very difficult to hear. What do you? This is what do you? What do you do? What do you do? Okay, so I ask my students, what do you do? And a lot of my students say, I'm student. I'm student. This is wrong. Okay, this is bad grammar. Don't use I'm student. I'm student. What do you do? I'm student. Don't use that. That's terrible grammar. You should use this and take a look. I'm ah. Okay, don't forget this. Ah. I'm a. It sounds like one word. I'm a. I'm a. What do you do? I'm a student. I'm a student. I'm a student. Okay. What do you do? I'm a student. The next one. On. Remember these words start with vowels. Vowels. A E I O U. And words that start with vowels we should use on. Okay. So what do you do? I'm an engineer. I'm an office worker. Okay. All right. So that's the last question. What do you do? So let's review the questions. The first question, what's your name? My name is Robin. Second question, where are you from? I'm from Canada. Third question, where do you live? I live in Anya. And the last question, what do you do? I'm a teacher. All right. So I hope you understand how to say the questions, also how to answer the questions. These are very important questions. You should know them. That's it. See you next video. Hello again. In this video, we are going to look at some questions to ask someone to know about their family. Okay. Now remember asking about family is a very personal thing. So make sure you are very familiar or friendly with the person before you start asking about family. 
Now here are the first two questions, and these are good questions to start with. They're both do you questions. The first one, do you live alone? Okay, only one person in the house. Do you live alone? This is a really good question to ask someone. Do you live alone? Because when they answer, if they answer yes, oh, then you know they're single. But if they answer no, they will probably tell you, no, I live with my parents, or no, I live with my husband or wife. Okay, so you could learn a lot by asking this question about who he lives with or what kind of family he has. The second question, do you live with your parents? Okay, similar style. Do you live with your parents? And the person will tell you yes or no. Now, both of these are do you questions. And all do you questions, the easiest way to answer is yes, I do, no, I don't. Okay, very easy answers. Do you live alone? Yes, I do. No, I don't. Do you live with your parents? Yes, I do. No, I don't. All right. So these are good quick answers, but these are boring answers, okay? So these answers are very easy, but probably if you say yes I do or no I don't, you should also give more information. Do you live alone? Uh, no I don't. I live with my parents. Do you live with your parents? Yes I do. We live in Champship. Okay, so these are good ways to answer quickly, but you should try and give more information. All right, let's move on to the next questions. Okay, so the next question is very common and very important. This is the question you want to ask to know about their brothers and sisters. And here is the question. Do you have any brothers or sisters? Do you have any brothers or sisters? Okay. Again, it's a do you question. So the simple answer is yes, I do. No, I don't. But that's not enough information. Okay. So here is the best answer. Do you have any brothers or sisters? So yes, I have one brother, one sister, two brothers, two sisters. Okay, because it's two, remember we need that S. Two brothers, two sisters. Do you have any brothers or sisters? Yes, I have two sisters. Or you could say I have one brother and two sisters, or I have one brother and three sisters. Okay, but remember the single and the plural. All right. So this is the best way to answer. Yes, I have one brother. Some people uh, no. Okay, you are single. You have no brothers or sisters. Do you have any brothers or sisters? No, I'm an only child. No, I'm an only child. I'm an only child. Okay, so this is what you would say in English to say you have no brothers or sisters. Okay, let's move on to the next questions. Are you single? Are you married? These are our next two questions. Very important questions to ask someone. All right, so it's very important to know if they're single or married. So again, are you single? Is that person alone? Only one? Are you married? Do you have a husband or a wife? Okay, now they are are you questions, so all are you questions, we have to answer yes I am, no I'm not. Okay, now some people uh, say yes I'm. This is wrong. You can't use a contraction here. It has to be I am. Never say yes I'm. That is wrong. It is only yes I am. Yes I am. No I'm not. Okay, so let's practice uh, fast, speaking fast. Are you single? Yes, I am. Are you married? No, I'm not. Are you single? No, I'm not. 
Are you married? Yes, I am. Okay, so those are these two questions. Let's move on to the last question. Okay, we're at the last question. Do you have any children? Do you have any children? Now, probably the first question is, are you married? Yes, I am. Then you would ask, do you have any children? Do you have any children? Now, this is similar style to, do you have any brothers or sisters? Okay, do you have any brothers or sisters? Do you have any children? Same style answer. Yes, I have one son. Yes, I have one daughter. Yes, I have two sons. Yes, I have two daughters. So remember, one son, two sons. Don't forget the S. Two sons, two daughters. Of course, you could also say, yes, I have one daughter and one son, or I have three daughters and two sons. Okay, you can say many things. Uh, some people have no children. So, do you have any children? No, I don't have any yet. Okay, I don't have any yet. Do you have any children? No, I don't have any yet. All right, so this is the question you want to ask about children. All right, so we learned a lot of questions to ask people about their family. Remember, these are kind of personal questions, so make sure it's okay. Make sure you're friendly first. All right, so you should practice these questions. These questions are common and very useful. That's it. See you next video. Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to talk about personal questions. Okay, now you have to be very careful asking someone personal questions. Okay, if you ask them too soon, okay, maybe you don't know each other very well yet, and you ask the questions too soon, they might be a little bit upset or angry. So you, should, you gotta be careful asking these questions. Make sure you're friendly. Now the first one I'm gonna start with, how old are you, okay? As we know in Korea, it's very important to know about age. So when you meet someone for the first time, uh, you want to know their age, how old they are. But again, this is kind of a personal question, so it shouldn't be one of the first questions, okay? You should talk a little bit with the person, and then when you feel the time is right, or it's okay, then ask this question, okay? Don't ask this question too soon. Anyway, let's take a look at the question. How old are you? How old are you? How old are you? And some of my students say, my old is 22. My old is 22. Of course, this is bad grammar. You cannot say my old is 22. That's wrong. I'm 22 years old. Okay, this is a full sentence. How old are you? I'm 22 years old. Uh, probably your teacher taught you this way. But this is uh, kind of childish. How old are you? I'm 22 years old, okay? As an adult, uh, we, we're probably gonna say it a little bit quicker. We're gonna say this. How old are you? I'm 22, okay? So this is the best way, the easiest way, and the most common way, okay? How old are you? I'm 22. Use this. This is okay but this is better, and certainly never use this. All right, let's move on to the next question. Do you have a boyfriend? Do you have a girlfriend? Okay, it depends who you're talking to. Do you have a boyfriend? Do you have a girlfriend? Okay, you want to know. This is a do you question, do you? So the answer is very easy. Yes, I do, no, I don't. Do you have a boyfriend? Yes, I do. Do you have a girlfriend? Yes, I do. Do you have a boyfriend? No, I don't. Do you have a girlfriend? No, I don't. All right. Be sure to use a. Ah. Don't say, do you have boyfriend? Okay, this is very important. Do you have a boyfriend? All right. Do you have a girlfriend? Do you have a boyfriend? Do you have a girlfriend? All right, again, 
little bit personal question. Don't ask it too soon. Let's move on to the next question. The next question is a fun question to ask someone. What's your blood type? What's your blood? This is pronounced blood. That's your P blood. What's your blood type? Okay, very easy to answer. What's your blood type? It's A. It's B. It's AB. It's O. What's your blood type? All right. What do you think my blood type is? Well, my blood type is not B, not A, not O. It's AB. Yes, that's my blood type. So I understand AB means genius or psycho. Uh, hmm, which one am I? Well, anyway, it's a fun question to ask someone, but make sure you know that person well. Let's move on to the last question. Here is the last question I want to talk about in this video. Well, first look at this question. What's your hobby? Okay, that's, a, that's an okay question. What's your hobby? But in my opinion, this question is stupid. Okay, so I'm going to say that's a stupid question to ask. Don't ask that question. What's your hobby? Instead, this is a better question. Okay, and this is more common. What do you do in your free time? What do you do in your free time? Okay, so that's better than asking what's your hobby. That's kind of old style. This is more common. Better. What do you do? What do you do in your free time? All right. Very easy to answer. I like to, and then you would put a verb. Okay. I like to play computer games. I like to shop. I like to exercise. I like to go meet my friends. I like to chat on the internet. I like to drink soju. Okay, very easy to answer. What do you do in your free time? Hey, what do you do in your free time? I like to study English. All right. So we learned a few uh, personal questions in this video. They're good questions to ask, to get to know someone, and some of them are very fun. But again, they're personal questions, so uh, be careful when asking the questions because the person maybe doesn't want to answer these questions. All right, so that's it. See you next video. Hello students, in this video we are going to talk about do you and are you questions. Now do you and are you questions are very useful. You should know them because once you know how to ask questions with do you and are you, you can ask many many questions very quickly. Let's look at do you questions first. And I have two styles here. The first style, do you like? Okay, very simple. Do you like? So you would put anything here. Do you like Korea? Do you like kimchi? Do you like soju? Do you like ice cream? Do you like handsome guys? Do you like sexy girls? Okay, you can ask so many questions with do you like? The next style. Do you like too? Okay. Now they're the same, but we're adding two. Do you like two? Okay, this is, means we're going to have some sort of verb, some sort of action word. So, for example, do you like to ski? Do you like to exercise? Do you like to play computer games? Do you like to drink? Okay, there's many things you could put here. Uh, action. Something, they're doing something. Do you like to swim? Do you like to ride a bicycle? All right, so that's do you like? Do you like to? Very useful for asking questions very quickly. All right, now if someone asks you these questions, the do you questions, with do you questions, very easy answer. Okay, do you like pizza 
Look down here. You could say, yes, I do, or no, I don't. Do you like pizza? Yes, I do. No, I don't. All right. Very easy to answer. Okay. So very easy to ask, very easy to answer. You should know how to ask do you questions. Let's move on to the are you questions. Okay, here are the are you questions. The are you questions are very easy to use and very useful also. Okay, let's take a look. So are you hungry? Are you hungry? Are you tired? Okay, these two are asking about the condition of the person. Are you hungry? Are you tired? Are you having fun? Okay, you want to know uh, how they are feeling, their condition, their body condition. The next two, are you happy? Are you angry? All right, you're asking about their emotion, their feeling. Are you happy? Are you angry? Are you scared? All right, you want to know their emotional feeling. So the are you question is very good to know how the person's condition and how they are feeling. All right. If someone asks you, are you question? This is your, how you answer. So are you hungry? Yes, I am. Are you tired? No, I'm not. Okay. Don't confuse the do you and are you questions. Okay. Sometimes uh, my students confuse them. The do you questions? Yes, I do. No, I don't. The are you questions? Yes, I am. No, I'm not. Okay, you got to be very careful. Don't confuse them. Okay, so that's the are you questions. Uh, so the do you and the are you questions, very useful to know them right away because you can ask a lot of questions in English to a native speaker. So many questions. Okay, so learn them and practice them. That's it for this video. Hello everyone. In this video, I'm going to talk about how to introduce your friends. So you have to introduce one friend to another friend and it's very easy. Let's take a look. Here is me, Robin, and I have two friends. Mike's a good friend and Sally is also my friend. They are my friends. But Mike and Sally, they don't know each other. Okay. They are strangers. So I have to introduce them. So I would probably say, Mike, let me introduce my friend. Mike, this is Sally. Sally, this is Mike. Okay. One more time. Mike, this is Sally. Sally, this is Mike. Okay. I introduce them. So once I introduce them, probably they're going to start talking to each other. They'll probably say, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. And maybe ask some questions. Okay. That's it for introducing a friend. Let's take a look at a dialogue so we understand it better. All right. The first dialogue. Hello, June. Let me introduce my friend, Steve. This is June. June. This is Steve. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. The second dialogue. Hey Jack. Hi Robin. Who's this? Oh, let me introduce my friend. Jack, this is Jessica. Jessica, this is Jack. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. I hope you understand the dialogue. Uh, it's very easy to introduce your friend and I hope one day I can introduce you to my friends and you can introduce me to your friends. Okay. Anyway, that's it for this video. See you next video.